Jays. <laughs> this just sounds like a wonderful thing to say. The manager of the Toronto Blue Jays throwing pitches to Vlad Guerrero. When he asked him, Vlad said, of course he said yes. They were the combination in 19 when Vlad finished just shy, losing in the finals. And Remember, two minutes in the final round, just two, not three. Two minutes, you still get that timeout. But right now, those pitches from Snyder are middle away. Needs to bring him in just a bit. That one's going to leave the yard in a hurry. So is that one. Yeah, that's a little higher and a little further. You really probably need the bonus here. And that's where Vlad's got a little bit of an advantage. That one is headed up to that second deck. There goes another one. And he hooks one foul. I, we're rolling now, though. And I love the cheerleading right now going on by Javier Bracamonte. The catcher, the bullpen catcher from the Astros, letting him know, look, let it get deeper. Right there. That's where you want it. Arozarena's not even hitting inside. He's staying outside to watch this. It's a focused look on Randy Arozarena's face. Very focused. When is it not when he has his arms crossed? Yeah. Well, I mentioned the fact that Vlad and his dad trying to become the first father and son to win the Derby. You know, at 12 years old, Vlad was hitting balls over the wall. There's Vlad Sr. 2004, they were in Houston, Texas. It was 2007 where he was the home run derby champion. The, the final round, by the way, the final round score of that derby was 3-2. to two. Oh, Look at Vladdy Jr. right there in the bottom. I want to win one of these. <laughs> All right, so a minute 13, he's got one of those that went 440, trying to buy himself wow. an extra 30 seconds in this two-minute round. That first one he hit, that was a linea. I mean, we're not looking at a lot of launch angle. That's oh. how he hits him. He gets the extra one, the 440. I, th I think it's really difficult to come out and beat him for Randy Rosarena. Well, he's starting to get on a bit of a groove here again by flying those balls to left. Mm, watch out for that one. And another, same spot. And yeah, now he's rolling. Still waiting on that second one to travel 440 feet. And he now has that second one. So he's got his 30-second bonus, Eduardo. Yeah, and this, his manager has to love the swing that he's doing right now. John Schneider continues to manage, but he continues to throw BP to him every day during the regular season. Just listen to Bracamone cheering him on. Now that shouldn't go. He knows that though he's got 30 more seconds. He sits on 20. Oh, we have the Guerrero group now. This looks more like a merengue group that's going to be around him. Watch this right here. Randy Arosa, Reina's longest, 447 feet. So he certainly has the ability to get that bonus time for himself. These are Vlad's best swings. Yeah, a lot quieter on this one right here. And you can tell that he is seeing the end near. Quiet early, explosive late, grounded. And when he needed to use the upper body, he can. He is right now gassed with one minute left, trying to regroup a little bit right here. Well, you think about it, Eduardo. You would never be in a position to go through a three-minute round, take about two minutes off, and then come back and get into an intense two-minute round. You'd never do that. Yeah, this is a lot of adrenaline going on right now for Vladimir Guerrero Jr. I would not be surprised if he hits the 30 mark. Really? Yeah, 29 to 30 with one minute. Very possible. What do you have, Bo? Oh, man, he's in a good place. He just needs to, uh, I mean, he's getting tired, obviously, so he needs to relax and trust that he has power and catch it out front, and he'll be all right. Bo, what happens when you get tired? I mean, you're a home run hitter. What, what happens when you get tired? Um, I mean, mechanics start getting out of whack, and you kind of just got to, I mean, you got to do your best to relax. It's not easy when you're tired, so we'll see what he does, but, you know, I think he'll be all right. A lot of let's go. A lot of vamos means let's go. And you're going to hear a lot of that from Javier Bracamonte. Never thought saw him cheer for another player besides an Astro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Let him get there is what he's saying. Let the ball get there. First 10 seconds, not one ball hit out of the ballpark. Pull. He's telling him to pull. There it is. <laughs> yeah, every time you can hear Rocamonte, he knows when they're leaving. Sounds it, looks it. Keep the rhythm is what he's telling him right now. This is going to be a challenge for Rosarena. Yeah, but it feels like it's within reach. If he can get that bonus, it feels like it's within reach. Well, he hit 35 with an extra minute because now we shave off a minute from this round. And that's why I think it's going to be really difficult. But if there's someone up for the challenge, it's the Razor. I that like guy. the number for the competition. I think 25 keeps Randy Rosarena right in this. Tremendous performance by Vlad, 25, record for a final round. Record for a final round, Vlad Guerrero. He wanted him to throw up and in, but not as hard as he has in the past because he's getting tired. With the boots or without the boots? He's at, <laughs> is he asking, do That's I impressive. wear these? Is he considering putting them on? <laughs> oh, they're going to be good luck charms right there. Right there. This is a guy that has raced a horse. This is a guy that has worn that Mexico uniform with an immense amount of pride. Originally from Cuba and a chance now on this stage to become a home run derby champion. He's got two minutes. The number's 25. Oh, for four out of a gate. 0 for 5. He hasn't swung a bat in about 45 minutes in this environment. He's been underneath, but it's been about a 45-minute wait between at-bats for Randy Rosarena. A lot more rapid fire than Vladimir Guerrero Jr. It's given him more of an opportunity to hit more balls out. The question is, will he be able to get to the 440 twice? Because Vladimir Guerrero with 25, hard to beat. Yeah, he's starting to get on a pretty good roll right now, though, as Randy Arozarena. And every time you say it, then they, they hook one. Then they go back to hitting those line drives. Hasn't gotten to that 440 yet. But not a bad mark right now. With a minute six, this is where Vladdy asked for time. Vladdy had 10 at this point. He Ooh, has a chance. maybe his longest one yet. He calls timeout after that. It goes to the second deck. Still 425 feet. I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> he says everybody was telling me. Hit it soft. Hit it soft. Take it easy. He's like, man, it's hard when you're out of breath. Pretty cool when pretty cool when you call pretty cool when you can call a Hall of Fame dad. The yard that he built, Ken Griffey Jr. and the yard that he currently occupies, Julio Rodriguez Jr. Now both watching. Jr. will maintain the title as the only guy to ever win three of these as Pete Alonso was beaten. Randy Rosarena's longest there was 425 feet. That was number eight. He's got nine. He needs 25. 14 in a minute. That chain will be part of the championship. Marshawn Lynch going a little lip balm. Yeah, he was throwing some baseballs earlier and knocking some cameras down as he was doing. <laughs> Derby champ. Well, you got to come right out of this timeout, Eduardo, and you got to you got to go. You got to make a statement. I mean, right now, no balls hit over 440. Meaning we only have. A minute 31 left for him to be able to hit 16 balls out of the ballpark. First 10 seconds are crucial. First one's popped up. That's one right there. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta go. That's two. Here we go. That's three. Too many line drives. 
I think you should put on the boots. That's another one there. That's another one. He needs 440 in a worst way, and that one's popped up. Well, he knows he can't get there right now, but he's trying to get quantity over that quality power. And it's it's adding up. It's Carl. adding up. It's getting desperate, though. It's getting desperate. Mm, big miss there. And a ground ball. Oh, man. He's, Boy, he's hard. in a great spot. He's in a great spot with 30 to go. Ooh, this is what you want, Eddie. This is what you want. 30 seconds. Doesn't get the extra 30, but he has the original 30 everybody gets. Gets the T-Mobile baseball with... I'll tell you, this is pressure, and if there's someone in this stadium that loves pressure, it's Randy Rosarena. The way that Francisco and Rosarena have worked in this round, it has been rapid fire. It has been rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. Can he get over 25? The answer is yes. But will he? In a year in which he has taken his game to a new level, Randy Rosarena trying to get the Rays a home run derby championship. We saw Salvador Perez. He put on one of the great shows in the home run derby. Vlad Guerrero is watching. Randy needs four to tie, five to win it. The ballpark is still full. Disappointed that Julio didn't do it, but in line now for a 30-second runoff with Randy Rosarena and Vlad Guerrero. Right there, Vladdy Jr. just said, have faith, guys, have faith. When I'm not playing, he said, I'm just chill. When I'm playing, that's what really makes me happy. Currently, Randy Arozarena sits on 80 home runs, which is third most in a derby. He'll likely pass Julio Rodriguez at 81. Four to tie, five to win. That's, ooh, that's close right there. But here comes the quantity. He knows what he needs to get. I mean, all the players right now are on their feet. Oh, he's getting there, Carl. Yeah, it looks like he's going to get there. There goes another one. Hands are starting to be raised. Not quite yet. Not Line yet. drive. That may stay up. Oh. Popped it up. Got to have one. I don't think he did it. He did not do it. Oh, my. Vlad Guerrero <laughs> Jr. will hang on and win the 2023 T-Mobile Home Run Derby. I think they went a little too quick. And it took away from oh. Rosarena's consistency. Randy Arozarena comes up just short. Congratulations to Vlad. He and his dad, both home run derby champions. There you go. A tweet from Vlad Guerrero Sr. What a performance. Proud of you, son. Oh, Randy is going to look back on that round and think, I had a chance. I was right there, needed four and 30 seconds, and he comes up just short. Just like in Toronto, puts on that jacket. Randy Rosarena just fell short. <laughs> what a sport. He enjoyed it. That's a guy that loves this stage. And look at Vlad. Think it means something to these guys to win this thing? You think it means something? Absolutely it does. He came here to win it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's cool? He's seen it as a son of a major leaguer. 
He's failed at this event, even though he hit 91 home runs in Cleveland. And this time, he's the champ. After a four-year absence, he comes back and wins it all.